Hey, it's Mike with Honeybee Acres. So glad you're here with me today. Oh man, yesterday's video, that was a hard video, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was having a little, I was kind of depressed to be honest with you. Uh, I was having a little bit of a hard time uh, seeing some of the impact. I was watching too much news, uh, everything with the coronavirus and people losing their jobs and all of that kind of stuff. And you know, it's all real stuff and it's pretty easy to get depressed. But today, it's beautiful outside. I'm feeling some spring. We're gonna enjoy life. Sorry about these shadows on my face. This is about the 10th try. I've tried to get the exposure between the background and the foreground and it hasn't worked. So you're gonna to have to just deal with shaded mic today. But uh, glad you're here. We're going to uh, hopefully get a little bit more work done on the garden. Uh, we're gonna sneak away and do a little fishing. Hopefully, if we can, I'm gonna grab Elijah. Now, don't freak out. Uh, the governor of Utah has said that fishing is still an okay thing that you can do to get outside in some fresh air as long as you stay at least six to eight feet away from anybody else from any other household. So Elijah and I are gonna go head up to the pond, see if we can catch a, a fish or two. Uh, we'll hopefully get some of that footage. We're gonna hopefully spread a little bit more uh, alpaca droppings onto the garden. We've got a neighbor that's gonna come over with his tractor and he's got a, a, a cool tiller attachment. He's gonna till up our garden for us. So that's some of the stuff we have planned for you today. I would love to have you join us. Thank you so much for coming. Let's see how today turns out. Hey, we're here at the uh, city pond. We're gonna do a little few minutes worth of fishing. Uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to catch a few. We've been here a couple other times early this spring and so far we haven't caught anything. So we've been skunked. We've been skunked and I don't think they're stocking the ponds right now. Um, but anyways, there are fish in there, so we're gonna see if we can catch a fish. I think Alicia's gonna go on the, the white walking trail that they have around here. So I don't know, come with us, we'll see if we can catch something. Yeah, it looks like this guy in front of us has caught one on, a, on his fly rod, that bodes well. Oh, there's a fish that just jumped right here too. All right, I am gonna fish a black woolly bugger with a hair, hair's ear nymph and then a blackjack behind that. We'll see what comes up with that. Your bite? Go get it, go get it. So what does this count? Is that mine or yours? Set it, set it. Is it still on there? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes! There's a good old... <laughs> First fish of the year. First fish of the year. Nicely done. Ooh, he's caught in the mouth, too. That's so nice. Even better. Let's see if you can pull that out there. Gosh, no losing. Perfect. Caught in the mouth. You should be able to just... <laughs> you gonna hold on to that fish or not? <laughs> I need like grippy gloves. Come on, buddy. Help me out. Help. help me out here, buddy. Help me help you. Got it? Gonna have to push it, push it toward him. Push it toward him? Yeah. Oh, come on, buddy, help me. Kind of swishing back and forth so the water gets in his gills. There he goes. Yeah, he looks good. Oh, so I'm not sure that was on my pole. Yeah, but I was the one that actually caught it. All right, just, all right. If you catch one on my pole, then I'll catch it for you. All right. Go, go, go. Keep your broad tip up. That looks like a good one, bud. Man, I'm gonna owe you lots of ice cream here. I'm gonna owe you all kinds of ice cream, huh? Did he get off? He came off. All right, are you sure? It's the last time you thought he was off. But keep reeling. Okay, we'll rebate, we know what they want. No. No, I'm gonna stick with what we got here. Oh, 
Nice. Oh, good. Hey, I wish wish we had those. Oh, sorry, buddy. Wish we had those uh, oh, forceps. Okay, hold on to him. Give me everybody. Make it easy. Hold on to him. Don't squeeze him because that, that'll make him jump more. It's a nice female. Okay. Nice work. Nice work, bud. That's a beautiful rainbow. Okay. That one's been in here for a year, too. Oh, gosh. Are they okay? Yep. He's fine. Okay, good. Hi, dear. Chartreuse is the color. Mm -hmm. uh, he's wandering a little deep. Oh, that's a pretty fish, though. Look at that guy. That's a pretty, that's a pretty rainbow. <laughs> like I just want to deal. Close change. Uh, we had a great time at the pond. We only spent probably an hour, hour and a half there. Um, Elijah caught a couple right off the bat. I was fly fishing and I uh, could see him out there, but man, I could not figure out the flies. I knew we were only going to be there for a short time. So I broke down. I went ahead and uh, baited up a power bait rod and, and threw it out there. I did catch a little, uh, a little planter fish. It's fun. A little rainbow trout. Uh, it's usually what the uh, Division of Wildlife Services stocks here in Utah is little rainbow trout. We have tiger trout and cutthroat and brook uh, tiger trout, or I'm sorry, uh, brown trout here in Utah as well. But in this little, in our little community pond, it's mostly just rainbow trout. Although there are bass, uh, there is catfish. Um, so there is a variety of fish, although this time of year, early, early spring, water's still super cold. And so it's mostly, mostly just trout. So anyway, it's just uh, breaking down the fly rod, getting the flies put away. Um, I have uh, done some of my work work, real work, uh, a little uh, consulting for a dentist uh, in, up in Idaho. Man, Boise, what a great place. Hopefully, uh, if any of you are in or near there or thinking about moving there, Boise is a fantastic place, uh, especially if you're a doctor or a veterinarian. Um, but we're here in Southern Utah and it's windy. so. I am going to be uh, finishing up the alpaca spread out on the garden. We just heard from our neighbor that he's going to come over on Saturday and do the tilling. So I want to get the rest of that spread out on the garden before it gets here, uh, here in a few days. And so I need to go work on that. It's super windy outside as it often is here in Southern Utah. And so I'll probably just do a quick time lapse with some music. So enjoy, enjoy that music, that music selection. And we'll check in after we get everything spread.
All right, well, I think that's the, the end for today. We'll, uh, we'll call it a day. We got some fishing in. Who caught more fish? Yeah. <laughs> we got some fishing in. We got some uh, manure spread. And we'll probably get some more spread before we finish up here. Um, it's been a beautiful day, but it's been windy. So that, that's pretty much a constant with Southern Utah. So let's see, we got that done. We got manure spread and time for uh, the tractor to come till that. We're going to record that video. That should be really interesting to how uh, the tractor tills up the garden space. Cause I know a lot of people are gardening for the first time this year. Uh, including us. I mean, we've gardened before, but this will be our first legit garden, hopefully. So anyways, thank you so much for tagging along with us here at Honeybee Acres. If you like this video, you might want to check out some of our other videos. We've got some interesting things uh, with some of our animals, alpacas, bunnies, miniature horses, dogs, chickens. We've got all kinds of animals, goats. Um, you may want to check out some of those videos. If you like it, feel free to uh, like it. And you might even want to subscribe to the channel and uh, check out some of the stuff that we're doing here in southern Utah, southwest Utah, here in uh, Cedar City. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you on... What? <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> that was your line.